Hello everyone, Freleok here. Uh, you don't normally get to see my desktop or the start of any kind of program, but I wanted to show you this today because I got a couple comments asking about servers in Forsaken World. Now, much like World of Warcraft and Rift, there are servers, and you do have servers depending on your, or uh, characters depending on your server or, or realm. Um, now, this is the launch screen right here, the client launcher. Uh, when you open it, this is what you see. Now it always has to download new versions because it's still a very new game and they're still constantly updating it. So this is what you'll see. Now once we log in, you'll see the login process and you'll see the server process. I'll, I'll explain it all to you as we get into it. I'm going to cut ahead until the uh, updating is done and we pop in. Alright, once you click to start it up and are in on this screen, it's going to say Welcome to Forsaken World. You're going to have your select server screen. Now, it doesn't matter really which server you play on. Um, I mean, to a point, it does, because different languages, such in, as in Europe, you're probably going to deal with a lot of the different people who don't speak English. Uh, there are a lot of different languages in Europe, uh, so just be wise where you choose to play. If you're an English speaker, Europe might be good because you can play with your European friends. However, um, if you don't have European friends and you're an American and just play with other Americans, you may prefer to play in the U.S. servers. Um, there's French servers and uh, and all that good stuff. So um, I personally play in U.S. West Lionheart because it's closest to me, so I just figure it has the best MS speed, best latency, so that's where I choose to play. Although all these latencies honestly aren't bad. 156 is not that bad. Unless you have bad internet, then it'll get even worse. Um, it tells you what kind of server. I play on a PvE server. I'm not a big PvPer. Um, so that's where I play. You select it and you click select. And then you're prompted to log in. Now once you log in, it goes to your character screen. As long as you have characters on that. If you don't, you'll have to click create to make a new character. If you've watched my very first Let's Play video, you'll see how we do that. And you'll see me start one. Now... As a matter of fact, this dwarf right here. Now then, there's Choose Realm in the top right. These realms don't matter. Your guy can go across realms. And when you uh, go into a new instance or something, you may be in, say, Realm 3 to start with, but after the instance, you come out in Realm 8. That's because it just puts you in the leader's realm. And it doesn't really matter what realm you're in unless you're in a certain homeworld for an event. It's just so their servers aren't bogged down by a million people in Freedom Harbor or doing quests. It's basically a, a brilliant idea. There's not a lot of servers, but there's a lot of different realms in each server. Um, and there's only one labeled trade, so that's the best place to go if you're looking to trade items with other players. That's pretty much how servers work, guys. Um, once you go in, you can change your realm, and I believe you can just log right back out here and go into another realm. Um, I've never bothered to change realms because I, I, mean, I haven't found a need to. Uh, but that's, that's all there is to the servers and realms. Uh, it's not completely like WoW, it's not completely like RuneScape. In the end, it's sort of a mix between the bo between both of them, guys. Because you have your dedicated servers, but then you have realms, just like you have RuneScape Worlds. It doesn't matter which one you're in, your guys across all of them. So, it's pretty interesting, it's a unique concept to me, I don't see it in very many different games, unless there's maybe two realms or something, just to take the load off. Just that easy. Um... I hope this helped, guys, to those who left me the comments. Um, if it didn't, just leave me another comment, and I'll do what I can to help. Again, if you have any questions, anybody about any part of the games that I play and, and put Let's Plays up of or anything else, just leave a comment. I do read all of them. I do respond to all of them, and I will post a video up if that's what's going to help. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.